Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Stormworks video and welcome to part 4 of the F-16 fighter jet build series. In this episode, we'll be adding a rotary autocannon to the front as well as some missiles on each of the wings. After we've added all of that on, we'll then go for a flight to test them all out and make sure that it's all working as it should. But anyway guys, as always, I hope you all enjoy. Let's get started. Alrighty guys, so here we are in the workbench once again. Now just before we get started on the auto cannon, I just want to show you these two missiles I've got here. This one's obviously a little bit smaller and this one's a lot bigger. So I thought we could put these on this plane right here. Now these came off an older build of mine that I made a long time ago and they actually work really well. So we're going to put them on this thing. But yeah, I just want to show you these. I'll run you through later on how they were made. I, I haven't made these for so long, but I'll show you all the specs on them and everything later on anyway. But for now, let's just get this auto cannon sorted. Now I'm hoping, I think we might have it coming off this side here, the right hand side so let's go rotary and see what we got so we're going to grab one of these ones now what we're going to do and to flip it around the right way first of all that needs to be opposite so we're going to go like this way around very good and then we're going to try and stick it in the wing something like this i think might work so if we get rid of all of this now i want to clear the landing gear if possible so if we go about here when we come in like that for the, the belts they should come off it there uh let's just test that out make sure it's going to fit so if we have an auto cannon belt yeah okay so three blocks okay that'll be fine just like that good so what we'll do we'll very quickly put one of these back in its place just like that awesome okay so that's going to stick off the side like this and then we're going to go back to rotary and we're going to grab some of these extension pieces and we're going to bring them out maybe one two something like that, that should be enough shouldn't it something like that that would be fine it's very long looking, but I think it'll look pretty cool coming off the side there. So we're going to leave it like that for now. Now, I'm not sure what we're going to do about this little area, how we're going to fill this in. So maybe what we'll do if we just get rid of all of that, we'll go back to white and we might just grab one of these and fill it in like that. That's that's probably all right, actually. And the back, we should make it curve back in, I think might be a little bit better, actually. So what we'll do, what if we grab some of these pieces, turn them around like this, drag that up to there, and then we'll put one here. Good. Turn this one around and go like that. Okay, that's probably a little bit weird, but we're going to go with it. Let's just get rid of some of this as well. How can we make that look just a little bit better? So I think we're just going to end up filling this in actually just like that. And if we want to change it later on, we can, but it should look fine once it's all painted anyway. And now for the fun stuff, we're actually going to move this little bit like this. Grab it and we'll just move it back into between there. Should be fine for now. If we have to move it later on, we always can. Good. Now we need to get some, what are they called? Ammo. What are these called? Auto cannon ammo drums. All right, so we're going to try and use some large ones of these if we can. If we turn that around like this, we'll chuck one right there. Now, do we have room? Okay, we can slip them all down the middle of this. Okay, that's actually pretty handy. We'll put one there and we'll put another one right. Okay, we're not going to fit another big one in there, are we? So let's go with a medium one. We'll turn this around that way. Good. We'll chuck it right here. And then we're going to need some other parts. So I think they're called belts, aren't they? Yes, they are. So a belt corner. So we're going to come up from this one. We'll go like this. Awesome, then we're going to get some straight pieces. Is that it there? Cool. Turn that around this way, and then we're going to put a few more coming towards the back, I think, or maybe we should go over this area, actually. Yeah, let's try this first. So let's grab a corner, put that right there, and then I think we'll go back to these. Can we just fit some small ones sitting on top of here? I think we can. Good. Go one and two should be fine. We've got the engine back there, so we just have to keep that in mind. And then what we could probably do, actually is we might come down again and <laughs> try to fit as much in here as I possibly can, uh, which you'll soon realize, no, it's not going to work. I have to put a straight one in first on the junction, a straight piece. Going to come all the way up to here. We're going to turn that around that way. Good. We're going to need another corner. Turn that up that way and go there. Okay, good. And then I might be able to fit another large one in here. Yes, I will. Okie dokie. Fit as many of these in as we can. I'm going to come back up with some more corners. Come up this way. Awesome. And we'll probably fit a couple of these small ones in. We're going to fit a fair bit in here, I think. So we're going to put one right there. Good. Then we're going to come up with another straight. Then we're going to head back down that way with some more, if possible. That'd be pretty good. Another corner. Turn that around that way. Good. Now, I can't get rid of any of that, can I, unfortunately? So we're just going to have a long thing of some belts. And we're going to put some more on top of here, I think, is what we're going to do. We should fit a few more in the front as well, actually. Very nice. We're going to have a fair bit in here. So let's get some more straights. Turn that around that way. Can we? Oh, we can drag that. Awesome. So drag that to there. And we can fit actually some more small ones in. <laughs> okay, one there and one there. Very good. So now we have to come here with some more straight pieces again. Uh, like this one, two. Alrighty. Very good. And we're going to try and get a few more in. So let's go small, small ones. Turn them around this way. I have no idea what the ammo count on this is going to be. But anyway... <laughs> <laughs> one two are they connected up yes they are so we've got this so far 
Got a couple big ones, medium, two small, another large, small, two more small, another couple small, and we're gonna try and fit even more in here if we can. We'll put another one of those all right there. Okay, now we're coming close to our seat, aren't we? Okay, we can still fit a bit more in here, which is really good. Let's just quickly sort this bit out while we're down here. So we will need a corner. So we'll go like this point, just like so. Very good. And we'll get a straight piece and fit it in right there. Okay, so now let's grab another large one of these, turn it up that way. We'll go right there. Can we fit? I wonder if we can fit one more in. We probably can't. Yeah, okay. Is that going to interrupt our landing gear? It shouldn't do. If it does, we'll just remove it. It should be fine though. Okay, so we have a fair bit. We could actually fit some more in if we curve the pipe back around. Let's just put another couple in if we can. So if I put one more... Okay, I can only fit one more in. That's fine. We'll just put that right there then. That is a okay. Let's grab another couple corners. Connect these together. Boop. And come down like that. Alrighty, so let's have a look at what we got. So it comes in here. Goes through these ones. Comes up, down, <laughs> back up again, and all the way back. And into a few more and back up to the top. So that is a lot of ammo, isn't it? Far out. Okay, very nice. Uh, next episode, we're going to worry about the fuel tank. <laughs> it could be a problem, but we'll we'll sort it out then. That can be next episode's problem. Now, I don't know if we want this whole thing a different color or not. I might just paint it this color and we'll just make our mind up afterwards, I think. So we'll go like this, paint all of that. Very good. And get rid of all of that. There we go. Okay, that, that kind of fits in pretty well, actually. I don't mind that at all. One thing we do need to do is fill in these wheel arches, but I'm not sure if the landing gear will retract if I put some wedges on top of here. So we'll also worry about that next episode. So we'll do the fuel tank and the landing gear. Make sure that's all perfect. Okay, yeah, let's just leave that as an open hole for now, I suppose. Now, what I want to do next, I was hoping to fit one of these big ones underneath here. So let's see if we can actually make that work. So we'll grab this whole one just like that. Is that everything? Got that piece of there too. All right, I believe that's the whole thing. Let's just copy it. We're going to drag it all the way over like this and see if we can fit one under here. I don't think we'll be able to. Oh, oh it's close to the ground, isn't it? We'll probably hit the ground with that, won't we? Goodness me, what's that cord on there? Okay, I just need to put another hard point in, do I? Okay, that's actually going up into the plane itself. I don't think we're going to be able to fit that in there. I think even that will hit the ground. So what we might do, I might just put some on the wings, I guess. We'll come up like that, and then we'll put a hard point up in there. So I might move that back just a little bit. Maybe something like that. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I might leave it like that. And that should clear the auto cannon as well. <laughs> Hopefully, allies are in big trouble. So we might put that right there. Good. So now let's try and line up a second one on this side. Let's try and get it in the exact same spot if we can. All right. So I believe that is the right spot. So we're going to paste that right there. Very good. Now, I don't think we're going to have any more big ones on here. So I'm just going to leave that over there for now. So then we're going to grab some of these smaller ones like this. Good. Actually, let's just start that again. Let's go from there to there. And we need to grab that middle piece as well. I think that's the whole thing, so let's copy this one as well. And we're going to fit as many of these on as we can. So let's come over about there. Should that be enough clearance? It should be. So we'll just do it on this wing first, then we'll go and do the other side. So can we move that over even closer? I think we can. That should be all right there, hopefully. <laughs> we're in a bit of trouble if it doesn't work properly. Uh, so we'll put one underneath the wing, possibly maybe back one more even. Or can we come forward a bit and let's just work this out. We'll paste one right there. Come over two. We'll put this one back a block. Something like that should be fine. Hopefully, are they a bit too close together? I don't know. Come over a couple more, come back another block, go there, and we'll put one right here as well. We could have eight of these, I suppose. That doesn't look too bad. I don't mind that at all. Um, I think we might grab that whole bunch and move it all over though. I think that might be best, so let's try that. Uh, we'll clear that, grab all of this if possible. I definitely don't need that bit over there. Let's get rid of that one. Uh, is that everything? And we haven't grabbed, we've got the tops of them. Okay, that should be all of it. So we're going to go move that, move it over one block. And that might be all right there, hopefully. Oh, we didn't grab the back of that, did we? Deary me, clear that, uh, undo all that. <laughs> uh, we'll put those ones back. Let's try this again. So we need to grab the back part of that and the front of that and these middle parts. That is all of it. Good. Let's try this again, though. Uh, we'll go over like this and come back one block. Oh, no, nah, we'll leave it forward a little bit like that. Ooh, I don't know. It's a little bit ugly, isn't it? All right, so I think we're going to have it like this, just all of them at the same spot all next to each other like that because I want to put some landing lights right in the middle here. I think that's what I want to do. So I might have it like that, and then we're going to have one more on each side on the wings here. So let's... Um, I think I've already got this copied. Yeah, okay, so let's uh, let's just try it again. Copy that, and we're going to drag it over this side as well. So how many blocks away is that? One, two, three, four blocks space. Let's go make sure. One, two, three, four. Okay, perfect. Good. Paste that in there. Okie dokie. So... 
Let's just double check, make sure everything's lined up. So we've got one, two, three, four block gap in there. One, two, three, four block gap. Okie dokie. That should be right there. Actually, that does need to come up a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, I believe that needs to come up a little bit more. So let's move that up to there. I think that's right. Paste that one in. And then we're going to have to go and move all of these ones, aren't we? So let's do that. Uh, reset that. Grab this piece and go to there and grab that. I think that's all of it. Should be. Move and drag up one block. Cool. Paste that. And that should be all good to go. Very good. I'm a little bit disappointed we didn't get one underneath there. I don't know if I should put one of these small ones in or maybe we'll just leave it. Should be fine. It's just I've seen a lot of photos of the real one that have one under there, but I don't think we're going to quite fit it because <laughs> they take up three blocks. Oh, I don't know. I'll muck around with it and see what I can do, but I don't think we'll be able to get it in there. Uh, anyway, now what we need to do next, let's just focus on this piece. Let's grab just a single one of these again. Grab this all the way to there. Grab that middle bit just like that. Cool, copy it, and we're going to put one on each of the wings. So we need to rotate that through the inwards, don't we, just like this. Good. So we'll come up one, two, just like that, and we're going to drag it back to about yeah, and go in like that. That is sitting a little bit far back, isn't it? All right, so I've just swapped the pieces around a little bit. I've got, I'll just paste it in so you can see. I've got the attachment there rather than sitting up here, so that should be a little bit better, hopefully. So we'll go with that. Let's just move it again, and we're going to drag it down a couple blocks like this, and drag it out one, and might drag it back to there. That, that should be fine, actually, so we'll paste that right there. Then we'll go over here, we'll turn it around that way. That should be fine, yep, and we're going to drag all the way over this side, just like that, so we'll paste that right there. Very good. So we have weapons on the tips of the wings. We have four missiles on each wing underneath, and then two big ones. Okay, those are looking pretty cool. So let's get some hardpoint connectors in now. Let's go on both sides. Now that doesn't line up, does it? I need to move this over just like that is the middle. Very good. Perfect. So get rid of that one like that. And let's go hardpoint. So hardpoint, let's grab some of these ones. Let's start with the outer wings. So let's just get rid of that piece like that. Turn that around and boop. Okie dokie. So that one is connected. Oh, that is not going to fit there, is it? I didn't, didn't notice that, that part of it. Uh, okay, and we do have some paint blocks in the way as well. Ah, uh, no. What am I going to do here? Let's just quickly get these big ones sorted. Then I'll do those bits off camera. I have to work something out there. So that can go good. And we'll just go in the gray, I suppose. Turn these around like that. Cool. All right, so that's holding that one, and that is holding that one. Awesome. So let me just quickly work out something for these small ones, and I'll be back in a moment. All righty, guys. So I think I've got it all sorted now. We have the same on each side. So we have four on each side. We have the little connectors. That is the best I can sort of do it. So it sort of follows the front of the angle of the wing, as you can see. And then one of them sticks out the back there, but I think that's okay. We can forgive that. And I was mucking around a little bit, and I cannot fit a missile underneath here. So we're going to have to leave that bit vacant, unfortunately, but that's all right. Still got plenty to play from the wings here. So I'll just quickly show you the specs of these small ones, and then I'll show you the specs of the large one. But you'll be able to get these off the workshop anyway when I put it up. Um, so if you have a look here, you can just, if you want to screenshot all the numbers and whatnot. So we have sweep speed on 100, sweep limit 10, zero for pitch, and these two are both on 10. It has an effective range of 800 meters, which is pretty cool. Uh, moving along here, impact threshold is 20 is that meters per second, I think. Then moving around under here, we have the fin influence on 85%, uh, rated guided missile. Impact threshold, the same as the one on the other one, and the same on the 65. The burn rate is 90%, and the fuel is 100%. So let's just have a quick look through these ones. I might even be the same, 100%, 0 0.10, 0, 10, 10, 800 meters. Yeah, I think these are the exact same, just a smaller version, I believe. Yeah, everything seems to be pretty similar. 20, radar guided missile, what are these on? 65, 65, and then... 90 and 100 so if you guys want to copy those specs then you can but otherwise you can just get them off the workshop when i put this thing up so i think as far as weapons go that is going to be it now what i'm going to do i'm going to grab this is not going to be a park break anymore that is actually going to be the auto cannon so we're going to go down here to the trigger and let's turn this from a toggle to a push and this will be auto cannon just like that very good so next episode when we do some more interior work we're going to add some dials so we know what we have left as well It'll be pretty good now, as far as the missiles on the wings go, I do have a controller I'd like to use. It's an 8-bomb selector, one of these ones. Um, so, obviously, you can connect up to 8 bombs or missiles to this one and fire them all with the push of a button individually. So, 1 to 8, which is pretty cool. So, we're going to chuck this somewhere inside. I might just open up a little area again so we can see if we've got any room in here. I could probably just squeeze one in the side here. should be A-OK. -okay. So, let's just go like this, turn it around and put it there. And then what button do we have free on our seat? What have we got? So that is the compressor number two. Doesn't do anything. So we might go 
um, wing missiles. And then we're going to go times eight because we have eight of these ones. That will be a push button. So that will be from number two on the seat. So let's go down here, connect up to our controller, this one here. And then we got flare one. So this is just the bomb. So we're going to have to go, oh, is it launch or release? I believe it's launch actually. So we're going to go launch and we're going to do all the small ones first. So number one's over here. Number two will be the one over here. So we've got launch over here and then so on and so forth. So number three onto that one and four over here. So I'll quickly do these. Just give me one sec. So there we go. They are all connected up. Very nice. Now let's grab another one of these. We're going to probably use two more, I think. So we'll turn that around like this and go like that. Very good. So there's probably other ways of doing this for just the um, having two, but I'm just going to do it like this anyway. Uh, so number one will be for this one. So we're going to go launch. And number two will be this big one on this side. Good. Now we'll connect that up to a button as well. So this will be, let's go number three. This will be large missiles. And this will be times two. So we have two of those large ones. So oh, that was on number three, wasn't it? Very good. So we'll drag that back down to here. Now I think we need to make sure that's a push button. Is that one a push button? This one is a push button as well. And number four will be the ones on the wings. Outer wing missiles, just like that on a push button to number four. So we'll sort that out now. So we'll grab this one. And we're going to chuck that right there. This is way too much for what we've got, but it will work. So that's all that really matters. Um, we'll connect that up to, what did say, number four, just like that. Good. So let's go number one will be the one over here. So we'll go launch. And number two will be the one on this side. So that should launch that one. Very good. So let me just make sure that's all connected up. We have controls for all of them. So I don't see why that wouldn't work, actually. So let's go and give these a bit of a test. So let's grab this. We'll just fill this in just for the sake of the looks. All right, so I believe we're all good to go now. So I'm going to quickly save this, spawn it in, and we're going to take off. Oh, well, actually, one thing we didn't do was change all of these from light auto cannons. So we need to go rotary auto cannon. And what type of ammo do we need? Hmm. I'm going to go high explosive just because it sounds coolest. So I've got a fair few of these to change. So I'm going to quickly do this, and then we'll spawn in and go for a quick test flight. Alrighty, so we should be all good to go now. Let's jump inside and see if this all works. Let's open up the canopy, jump in. Now, I believe I can get to the butt. There it is. Perfect. Good. Alrighty, we still need to sort that out. Um, so let's throttle up a little bit. Let's turn this thing on. And while we wait for it to turn on, let's test that auto cannon. Oh, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Very good. Pretty much right in front of us, too. Awesome. Uh, okay, we're taking off already, apparently. Let's a bit more throttle and pull back, and up we go. Awesome. Okie dokie, we are in the air. So let's test these. Let's test this one out again. That looks so good, doesn't it? Woo! Okay, we might put some sort of little aimer in front of us too. That would be pretty handy. Um, now, what do we got first? Let's test the wing missiles. Yes, look at that. Three, four. We got five, six, seven, and eight. Perfect. They all work pretty well. We'll have to find a target and test that, won't we? Um, and the large ones, we've got two of them. One, two. Perfect. And the outer ones, one and two. Okay, we are out of ammo already. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right, let's uh, take this thing back real quick. Let's come around this way. Very good. We'll take this thing back. I'm going to reload, and then we're going to go find someone to shoot some of the AI, maybe like a boat or a plane. We'll see what we come across first. All righty, so we're just about to take off again. Let's get in the sky, and then we'll set a waypoint where we need to go. Okie dokie, pull up, please. Awesome. Clear those rocks, and we are up in the air. Very good. So let's head up this way. Are we going the right way? Let's just double check on the map. Uh, yes, we are. So I want to try and go through these river systems. Maybe we'll find... Oh, there's a refueling plane over there. That could be fun. <laughs> Whenever we come across first, I don't care if it's a boat or a plane. A plane would be cool. I would like helicopter though, but we'll see what we find. So I'm going to head up this way and I'll be back with you guys when I find someone. All right, we're flying around and I found someone else. I don't know what he's... Is he crashing himself? <laughs> let's give this a test. Uh, let's just push Wingbuster. Shoot two of them. And they're going to get him. Boom. Oh, straight away. Look at that. Perfect. That's the refueling plane as well. Oh, dear. He's not actually a bad guy, but oh, well, that's okay. I might turn around and we're going to try and get him one more time. Is he going down yet? I don't think he is. So we've tested two of the small ones. Let's test those two bigger ones. Let's turn around this way. Very nice. Okay, okay, this is perfect. I love this. All right, so let's test out those two large ones. I'm going to fire maybe just one. Oh, there's someone else over there too, or to our right. That's all right. Let's come around this way. Whereabouts did he go? Uh, he should be around here. Somewhere. There he is. Okay. Let's, oh, we're coming up behind him, are we? <laughs> this is great. All right. Let's give this a go, shall we? So he's over there. Let's roughly face the right direction. And we we'll go boom. There goes one. Should go straight to him, hopefully. Bang. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> 
Okay, oh, we blo yeah, we've broken a fair bit of him. Goodness gracious, that's very good. All right, let's just pause for a second. Have a look at what we've done. Head down this way. All right, so yeah, we've definitely... Yeah, he's he's done, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. We'll hit him one more time. That is a very cool-looking plane, isn't it? I like that. Anyway, let's keep on going. So is he going to come out of the sky? I don't think we've hit him enough to fall out yet, have we? He's a tough boy. Let's come around and shoot. We've got another one, so we'll shoot another one at him. Maybe I'll shoot that big one and a few small ones all at the same time. That'd be pretty good. All right, so let's come around to the right here. Big old turn. Okay, this is just using the rudder. Look at that. That's pretty good. Not too bad at all. So we're going to push number three and just spam number two until we use up all those small ones, I think. Okay, we might come up behind him again. I think it's probably best. Come around this way a little bit more. Good. And here he is in front of us. I might quickly test the range. Let's use those two outer wing missiles. I might just fire both of them. See if they get him at least. I don't know if he's too far away or not. Oh, it looks like they're going for him. Oh, he's out of distance. I, did they get him or did he... Did he despawn or something? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a disappointment. I want to knock him out of the sky ourselves. I might go back and try and find one more guy just for the sake of it because this is pretty fun, actually. All right, so I found someone in the water over here. We're going to test it out on this guy instead. So let's just shoot everything we've got. Boom, 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 boom. That should blow him up. Bang. <laughs> oh, dearie me. That's nearly frozen me. Uh, he's still. What? Well, he's still going. How? Where is he? Let's have a look. Uh, what's going on here? Okay, he's definitely going to sink. <laughs> look at that. Very good. He is not going to last very long. Oh, even underneath's all broken. Good. That is great. Look at that. Oh, is that one of the missiles down there or something? I don't know. The whole boat's broken, though. He's definitely going to sink. So they all work very well. Oh, pull up. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Goodness me. All right, so as you can see, it all works very well. Oh, we didn't test out the cannon. Uh, we sort of need like a little um, aimer first, though, but that's okay. So that's probably going to do us for today, guys. We got everything done we wanted to do. We got all our weapons added on, which is really good. They all work fabulously, which is great. Uh, so next episode, we're probably going to sort out our fuel tank, our landing gear, our afterburner, and start getting that interior going because there's not much going on in there at the moment, as you can see. Absolutely nothing. Uh, but yeah, that's the plan. If you guys have any suggestions, then let me know down below. But otherwise, I'd like to say thank you all very much for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next episode.